Hi, again, it's me. Happy Wednesday again. It's still Wednesday, believe it or not, at 1.23 in the uh, p.m. Yes, and I only have one earring on because I have a story to tell you. <laughs> I'm so excited. But first, I just want y'all to know that those moths coming in my house this morning did not, it was not a bad start to my day. Now, did I invite them in or want them to come in? No. Did I think it was hilariously funny that they came in and bounced all over my ceiling and left their moth fur all over my ceiling? Yeah, a little bit. I thought it was funny because I looked at it like, well, first, content, right? <laughs> Am I right? And two, what fun we had trying to get those. They're about that wide. Someone asked me if it was a horse fly. So I guess you could not tell how big it was. Wing, this is wingspans wide. They're about that wide. They're called hummingbird moths. And they are about as big as a hummingbird. Not really, but yeah, almost. And they have these big fat bodies. And I don't like touching them because when you, someone told me I should have just grabbed it and threw it out. I mean, first of all, no because it would move in my hand and I would probably freak and scream like I did when it was moving in the bucket. It started flying up out of the bucket as I got to the door, which is why I screamed and threw it, but it flew off. Both of them flew off to live another day. As I'm editing, I see that I never finished my sentence about the main reason why I didn't want to hold them. Well, here I go again, one or two or 12 I couldn't reach it because it was at the trim at the top. And when it started moving, it was like this. So it was very hard to catch with a bare hand. Now, the one that was in the bucket, I might could have caught, maybe. But two, I don't like touching them because the fur, I don't know what to call it, on their wings. Well, obviously, it gets all over the ceiling. But if you touch them too much, they can't fly is the second reason or third reason or 12th reason. I didn't really want to hold them. Plus I can't handle that. So back to the story. Cause I don't, I, first of all, uh, I didn't want to, I didn't, mm -mm. I didn't want to deceased that thing in my house because a crime scene cleanup crew would have to come clean up after it. It's that big. I mean, it's, it's big. And second of all, I don't care things like that. I, d I don't. They have a purpose in this world, just not in my house, right? So if I can get them out safely, then I'm going to get them out safely. I'm not going to spray poisons, just no. The only things that I don't want in my house, flies, fleas, and roaches. I don't even care for an occasional spider as long as it stays hidden and it's small, and it doesn't come near me, and and all that, but if it's one of them big wolf spiders, it's got to go. Anyway, let's talk about my earrings, shall we? <laughs> okay, so the funny story is, well, the back story is, it's my friend Sheila, and she lives in Pennsylvania, and she went to an art show in Pennsylvania. It might have been Labor Day weekend. I was Look, I got glasses on my head and I'm holding glasses up to look through, you big dummy. Anyway, I think it was Labor Day weekend. She went to this art show in Pennsylvania and she sent me some pictures of earrings and I was like, ooh, these are pretty and these are pretty and I like those and you know, and she said, well, I'm gonna buy you some. And I said, no, you don't have to buy me any. I was just saying I like them and she said, no, I want to. And I was like, well, I mean, <laughs> far be it from me to A, turn down a pair of earrings, <laughs> and B, take someone's blessing away from them. Because I feel like if you're gonna buy something for somebody like that and, and you won't let them, it's kind of taking away their blessing. Plus it would take away my blessing of receiving an adorable pair of earrings. Am I right? Okay, so the first pair that struck my eye, or caught my fancy, if you will, were these little jewels and I like them I think they're copper and they're leaves 
and it has a little bit of that natural, you know, greenish blue color that copper turns. So I chose those to wear today with my little shirt because it brings out the blue. Am I right? Aren't they cute? I love the length on them because I, y'all know me, I like a little bit of a longer earring. Well, then she kept walking and she sent me another picture. And what she was sending me a picture of was like a table full of earrings. And I'm zooming in and looking at them. Well, these struck my fancy. <laughs> I said, oh, I like those. Now, when she sent me the picture, I thought they would match my new shirt that I got at Glitzy Chicks. Y'all know I'm all about matching my shirt to my earrings. But when I got them, they do not. But that don't matter because I've got plenty that will match them because these are my colors. These are my jam. <gasps> Look at them, look. And they also appear to be a copper type substance. But look at the little sunflower. And you know that orange color and that green, and of course that copper brown color, the, they are my colors, okay? So she bought them that weekend, whatever the date was, I, I don't remember. And then she sent me a message that she mailed the package on September 6th like this, all right? I'm not gonna show you the front because it has my address and her address, but I will show you this right here. Where is it? Where is it? September 6th, 2023. That's when it was postmarked, okay? She sent me another message on September 9th and said that it showed delivered, which you would think that would be plenty of time to get from Pennsylvania to Georgia. I mean, the mail is relatively quick for most things, right? Well, the 9th comes and goes, and I don't get a package. The 10th, the 11th, the 12th, the 13th, on and on and on, I don't get a package. And I was afraid because we've had so much fraud and thievery from our postal service. I'm not saying the postal service is responsible for all the fraud and thievery. I'm just saying there has been a lot of fraud and thievery regarding mail. They had to close all the outside boxes, I think all across the U.S., because people were breaking into those and stealing packages and stealing, you know, envelopes with checks in them and stuff like that. So, I just thought, well, somebody stole the package because she didn't send it insured. So, yesterday, what was yesterday? Like the 19th? That's when it finally showed up. 13 full days later and 10 days after her, the scan or whatever, showed that it was delivered. But I opened the mail when I went to walk Penny yesterday and I saw two envelopes. One of them had some dog treats that I ordered for Penny. And the other one had my cute little earrings. Aren't they cute? So anyway, in the envelope, she sent me a little letter, which I, I'm not gonna read. And then she sent me a card. It's Janie's Jewels, J-A-N-I apostrophe S, Jewels. J-E-W-E-L-S, Unique Genuine Beach Glass Jewelry. So I'm gonna hold the card up, but I'm gonna read the number real quick. And if you need to hit pause, I don't even know if I can read this number because I'm not crazy about this font. But I think it says 717-725-5377, Janny Smith. Janie's Jewels at gmail.com and it's facebook.com slash Janie, J-A-N-I, Smith Jewels. There's the card. So if you would like to follow her and support her business, I am all about supporting small businesses and American owned businesses because we get far too much sent from overseas and we need to support our own people. But anyway, I was so very excited to get these and especially because they're leaves and these are sunflowers and that to me just means fall, which is my favorite time of year. 
I love it. I love all the colors. I love the pumpkins. I love the sunflowers because sunflowers are late fall. I mean, late summer to early fall. Hi, precious. Hi. Hi, did you go outside? Were you a big girl? Were you a big girl and you went outside? Oh, you're a good girl. Yes, you are. You want a treat for being a good girl? Huh? Do you want a treat for being a good girl? Okay, come on. Oh, she's such a big girl. I don't know if you could see. I have jewelry all over my countertop. It came from my mom's house. It's my mom's jewelry. It's just costume jewelry. And I am going through it. Here you go, baby. You want a treat? Can you sit? Sit. Can I have it? Well, sometimes she'll grab it and take off running with it when I say, can I have it? Let's try one of these little lean treats instead. These are pretty good. I saw them on Jamie and Lester's video from I'm a Survivor, and I think they said they got them at the vet for Ritzy. You want it? Uh, sit. Good girl. Y'all just ignore that. <laughs> All right, can you stand? Huh, can you stand? You don't wanna stand? Okay, that's fine. Sometimes she gets embarrassed when mama, you know, does that in front of other people. I bought some mums and my pot out back was really heavy and full of dirt. So I used my, a rolling cart, is that what it's called? Hand trucks, that's what it's called. Whoo, look at me remembering words. It's called hand trucks. And I used the hand trucks to roll it instead of trying to empty the dirt and carry the pot and all the things. I was like, you know what? <laughs> That's why I bought hand trucks. So I'll just roll that bad boy around. Anyway, I haven't done a whole lot today because Penny has wanted me on the couch with her. And I mean, I can ignore her or I can just give in and sit down. Ah, don't scratch on that rug. Hey, uh-uh, no ma'am, don't scratch on the rug. So, <laughs> I think perhaps her brother may be coming for visits and whispering into her ear and telling her what to do and how to act because she has never, ever scratched on a rug. Now, she scratched on the pillows. She scratched on the couch but she's never scratched on a rug. And I bought two new rugs for my kitchen that are yarn, well, I don't know what you call them. They have threads that are easily torn. She started scratching on it and pulled one of those. Charlie used to do that all the time, so I never would buy rugs like that because he would tear them up. She's never done that. And now this rug, which I'll show you, I bought last year for fall, I put it out on the front porch because I knew that he, Charlie would tear it up. Isn't that cute? It says, hello, fall. Now, anyway, let's finish your first story. I put it on the front porch so he couldn't tear it up. But this year, it's kind of bittersweet, but I was like, well, I can bring it in the house because she doesn't claw on the rugs. But see, it's got that loose kind of looping yarn. I don't know what you call it. Anyway, so I did that and I put my fall wreaths on the front door and on the side door here. And I brought out this bad boy, big pumpkin. And I'm just going to set it right there, right there in the corner. So my question is, should the hello fall that is written on that face the guest or myself as I'm coming in? Or should it I be able to read it as I'm leaving. I think it should face the guest coming in, but it doesn't look right. You know what I'm saying? Not that it matters. It doesn't really matter because let's face it, nobody ever comes in anyway because <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. You want to come sit with mommy? Because I have someone who lives with me that is a little ornery. She's a little ornery and nobody likes to come in. Now, Joan came in and was perfectly fine. And she sat on the couch and she was perfectly fine. But when she got up and got ready to leave, my little friend there lost her mind and acted like she was going to decease her. 
Anyway, this is the other thing. I bought this last week when my sister came down last Wednesday at Home Goods. I think it was $14, $15. I just thought it was so cute and it is heavy. It's solid. It's actual wood. Isn't that cute? So I am not going to do all the decorating that I normally do because <laughs> I usually tear the whole house down. I mean, basically, and have so much fall that it looks like Kirkland's threw up in my living room, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think I have it in me this year to do all of that. I think last year when I went so out of control decorating for fall, well, decorating for fall and then Halloween, I bring out some things for Halloween and then uh, I have a few things for Thanksgiving that I like to bring out. And then Christmas looked like a Christmas store in here. There was so much Christmas going on and it took me so long to get all that packed up and put up and everything back in its place. I just don't know if I have it in me to do it again. Not to say I'm not gonna decorate, but I'm bringing out a couple of things. Like I brought out this blue pumpkin because it matches so well in here with this. I just don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. And then this little cute owl is made out of the same stuff. I love these. You just have to be real careful because these little pieces are, they're like little wood shavings and they break really easily. That's not how it's gonna stay, but look how that all that blends. It blends so well. Anyway, <laughs> that's enough of that decorating stuff. But that's what I'm doing is I had big plans to go out and work in the yard and get the house clean and, you know, just do all the things. <sighs> Sometimes life sucks the life out of you. And life tried to suck the life out of me this morning, but I fought it off. I fought life off. <laughs> anyway, I got a couple of videos of my babies to throw in that I'm gonna do now, and I'll be back. Okay, okay. Good morning, princess. I know you're mid-nap, but would you like to go for a walk? You wanna go take a walk? You look so pitiful. Are you pitiful? Yes, Mommy. Why are you feeling pitiful? Because I'm trying to nap. Well, do you want to go take a walk? Not really. I'd rather sleep. I need to go take a walk anyway. Oh, she's the sheepiest baby. Oh, her's the sheepiest baby on this planet. i sleeping on two pillows. So I had a package delivered, and they laid it on the steps. And I just picked it up and threw it inside. And ever since I threw it inside, Gracie comes and sits on it. <laughs> Out of all the places she could sit, she sits on the package. Gracie, you okay? <laughs> Silly cat. Well, that's it for this one. I hope you have a great Wednesday. Remember that I love you and Jesus loves you. And I hope he's coming back soon because these people will be making me crazy. And I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries, okay? Love you. Mean it.